That's perfect. I'm here. All right, I'll see you in an hour. Bye-bye. Hey, Mark, are you working or are you reading the paper? I'm, I'm doing both, Paul. Okay, well, I just, we have a busy day today. We don't have a lot of time to relax, unfortunately. Because can you believe this? This is the last house. It's crazy, the last house on the makeover street. And of course, I have to take down Yet again, another fireplace. <laughs> I know. That's like totally your favorite thing to do, though, is take down a fireplace. Apparently, if there's a fireplace in Connecticut that needs to come down, I'm the guy to call. You are, for sure. Well, you're not going to demo in white pants, are you going to get changed? Okay, I guess I'll get changed now. Get over there. I'm Mar Jennings, America's top lifestyle expert, known for my six casual luxury design principles. I call my world Life on Mars because it's a universe of cohesive design made simple and smart. I renovate and design homes from top to bottom, inside and out, and reveal how casual luxury is the cure for all design dilemmas. Real designs, real budgets, and real people. Out of this world makeovers right here in Connecticut. The farmhouse was the first house that was built here on the makeover street, and it's almost just so perfect that it's the last one we complete on this season. The farmhouse was built in the 20s as a wedding gift for Eleanor and her husband. I did have the opportunity of meeting Eleanor while she was living there. She told me that her family barn from Maine was deconstructed and the timbers were reused in building this house. So thus, the name The Farmhouse came to life. Recently, I had the pleasure of selling The Farmhouse to Mike and Mark from New York City. I love its uh, 1920s uh, style. It's a real farmhouse. It's small. It's 1,100 square feet plus, but it uh, has real character. Tell me a little bit about the two of you. We've been together now for... Is 23 it? years. 23, 23 years. years. Yes. <laughs> yes. Almost a quarter of a century. It doesn't look like it's possible. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so now, speak for myself, I was young then. <laughs> We've been together for most of those years, as it turns out now, in, in New York, in the city where we live. And um, we just wanted to have a place out of the city to spend weekends. Of course, the weekend home had to have a swimming pool. So here's the laundry list of the things we need to do. We need to take down that fireplace, remove the patio. We need to also install an outdoor shower. Love that as well as doing some landscaping. And when we're all done, we're going to have a major celebration block party. Ah! I recently took a trip to the country to learn more about the farmhouse styles during the 20s. Luckily, there was a great museum exhibit on just that architectural style. It was a popular style that evolved between the wars and there were lots of variations. Of course, I also got a chance to get up close and personal with some feathered friends. Axe throwing and now I'm petting a chicken. Who would have thought that inspiration for the little street in Westport would come from the oddest places? <laughs> Clearly today is the demo day to remove the existing fireplace in the grill area and then begin the patio. We have drainage work to do and dig the pool in. So there's a lot of things that have to happen that aren't even necessarily visible. And that is the drainage. That's, That's a drainage. big part of it. We got a, a number of structures that be buried in the ground. Okay. So in reference to our timing and moving forward, we really want to get them in this pool when it's still nice and warm where they can enjoy it, right? And you're going to make sure that happens? Oh, yeah. Okay. That means I'm going to have to take uh, a couple of uh, swings at this fireplace. Knock I am the fireplace knock guy. Knock yourself out. I, I take know, it you out all the time, right? You're always taking down fireplaces. <laughs> next time you should try building one. <laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> next season. Have fun with it. All right, Ron. Check on. in with us, okay? Taking down that fireplace and knowing that this is the last project on the Makeover Street is kind of sad. But we're all so excited about finishing up this season and finishing up all these renovations on this street. Oh my God, I can't believe we got to this point. It's an amazing feeling of accomplishment. I'm so proud of everything the team did. This past season has meant so much to me. When we started at Green Isle, I really thought we were just gonna get the work done. Now I've gone from being a client to being a teammate, and it has been more fun and a wonderful journey of design and friendship. It's a lot harder than it looks. My miniature schnauzer has an opinion about everything. And when we set up that hose to really remove a lot of the water as we excavated, we are in a flood zone. My schnauzer seems to think that she's in charge in giving orders.
When getting out the door is a challenge, finding a new home can feel impossible. You need someone who really knows the market. It's time for Elliman. The thing about your first real job is that it means your first real apartment. And that means your first real party. You need someone who knows how you roll. It's time for Elliman. All right, so let's check the status. I love summer interns. I like to refer to them as summer interns. And they're young minds that are inspired, and it's really my job to help educate them and have them learn all aspects of the business. Not just the office component. Yes, that's an important part of it, but whenever I can bring them on site, well, that's what it's all about. Okay, we're at work. I think it'd be a great idea to let's do a live stream on Facebook on the progress and of course the second year they came back and how ironic I was working on an outdoor space design at Green Isle and now I'm at the farmhouse doing yet again another outdoor space design. We are live our first Facebook broadcast I'm here with my intern say hello see this I did this that was me me thank you so much from all of us here on Life on Mars, keep it casual. Goodbye, everyone. Speaking of Green Isle, we opened it up for a garden tour and interior design house tour. I was really proud for this national organization that really helps inspire people about gardening. They're called the National Garden Conservancy. When I heard that we were gonna go back to Green Isle and sort of, you know, see that property again, and I was excited. And you know what, it still has that incredible wow factor. Philanthropy is near and dear to all of the O'Kane's heart, and we were proud to show Green Isle. The best part of the day was when Mar and I took people on a personal tour, reliving those moments at Green Isle. There's really nothing better. What do you think? I don't know if I have the words to describe it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's cozy, inviting, yet glamorous. There are many things to notice and to learn in this house, but I love most, which is very Mar, the way you brought the outside yes. in and the inside out. Right. What are people saying about the garden? As they're walking down here, they can't believe that this property is right here in Westport. These programs give folks a special chance to really kind of spend an hour or so and, and, and get real details. We're just thrilled that we're getting great feedback and that we're helping a charity. Well, let's get back to work. We got another tour. Okay, sounds okay. great. My miniature schnauzer has an opinion about everything. And when we set up that hose to really remove a lot of the water as we excavated, we are in a flood zone. My schnauzer seems to think that she's in charge in giving orders. I'll take them from her. So they've shot the concrete. Let's go take a look. All right, so it's been a... And they've cleaned everything up and we're... They're very, very clean. I'm very pleased about that. I mean, now we can truly see how the pool feels in the backyard. Well, I mean, this is hard enough that you can actually walk on it. Yeah. We know basically how it's falling into place in this yard. There are some decisions we're going to make in reference to the patio size. All those elements are going to be questions that we now need to start addressing. Yeah, and then our underground rechargers for the stormwater control company. We've taken the ability of the ground to absorb water out of play when we've put in a swimming pool or we put in a house or driveway. And today's building codes say we have to make up for that. So we're gonna put in about 800 gallons of underground stormwater retention that will take the leader pipes, put that water into storage and slowly release it back into the ground so that we aren't adding to local stream flooding. You have work to do, so do I, so let's yep. get out of here. Let's go. So you guys will get it pretty good and the landscaper will finish it off. Correct. And the landscaper will finish it off with topsoil. 
a very, le you know, yeah, for, for small side. just for the sod. Mark and Michael are finally on site and walking through and getting a real understanding of the overall scope of the project and how it's all coming together. This is a difficult time because I'm a very visual person, so I can see the end result. So I'm just hoping when they're looking that they see what I see, not what they see what they see. Get it? When the housing market is particularly challenging, when isn't it? Find the agent who can find the answers. <laughs> it's time for Element. When it's time for the next chapter, you want to find a buyer who will value your home as much as you did. It's time for Elliman. So you guys will get it pretty good and the landscaper will finish it off. Correct. And the landscaper will finish it off with topsoil. A very, le you know, yeah, for, for small the just for the sod. Mark and Michael are finally on site and walking through and getting a real understanding of the overall scope of the project and how it's all coming together. This is a difficult time because I'm a very visual person, so I can see the end result. So I'm just hoping when they're looking that they see what I see, not what they see what they see. Get it? So you, so you just build a faux wall and hide it behind the faux wall, and then you could have rivets or something that if you need to access it, it comes off, and you get access to it. Rivets? Or screws, screws or, or something. Rivets, rivets like in your jeans. The guys, the guys watch Titanic too many times. You know, <laughs> something that, you know. Yeah. Okay, do. In the past, prior owners have also done their mark on the house as well. Well, this is the first time someone's coming in and embracing the past, but also bringing it to a 21st century. The fireplace was completely off scale and really in the center of the property, thus cutting it up and not making it very usable. I'm no stranger to outdoor fireplaces. When I saw the one in the backyard at the farmhouse, I knew that Mar was gonna be the one to take it down. It was placed catty corner right in the center of the yard. So we have all the coping is done. The coping is two inches. It lines the entire pool area. The tile is in. It's a gray pattern that matches beautifully with the coping. And we have installed the patio. Today is all about identifying all the details, such as lighting, patio, and timeline. Those are all very important details that have to all work perfectly together. The farmhouse is allowing me the opportunity to get reacquainted with great landscaping, farmhouse design, as well as pool inspiration. So this episode is all about those three things and how they all come together beautifully. It's only fitting that our last episode, we have someone new moving into the neighborhood, but she's moving into Roseburg Gardens. Her name is Stacy. So, you know, a puppy shower, I. I have to admit, I might have eye rolled a little bit, but then I realized it's really Mars' birthday is what we're celebrating. And you know, he loves to celebrate his birthday. He just doesn't love a ton of surprises. So this is a great way to get everybody together, tons of people from all matters of his life, and to really celebrate him in the guise of celebrating the arrival of Daisy, which he was pretty darn cute too. Birthday cake? No. 3D schnauzer cake? Yes. We love Mar. Absolutely. Happy birthday, Mar, and welcome Daisy to the family. And we're so excited to be hosting and everyone's having a great time. <laughs> so happy to be here and to share Mars Day with him and to meet little Daisy. She is adorable. Happy okay. Cake and Candle Day, Mar. I just want to say that I love your party. I love the dogs. The Daisy Gin cocktail was fabulous. And that cake was to die for. Well, now that we've met Daisy, I think we would consider having a dog. Yeah. <laughs> what a wonderful event and uh, pretty in pink, that's for sure. Beautiful decor, as always, beautiful food, a uh, fit, fit for a queen here. So we had a, we had a wonderful time, what a, great, what a great fun party. And here she is. This is Daisy Aster Rose von Schnorkenheimer, the sister to Violet, of course. She's a red Wheaton miniature schnauzer. She'll be about 15 pounds fully grown. She's about six months right now. 
And not to worry, she's a wonderful addition to the family, and of course, Violet loves her too. Now that the table is all set, the street is completely shut down, we have the food prepared, I have to tell this crowd, dinner is served. All right, everyone! Get to know the people at Galt, and you'll discover why You First has been our guiding principle for over 150 years. Our customer care team will make sure that we are always there for you day or night. Our bioheat and propane delivery teams and our highly trained installation and maintenance technicians will take good care of all your family's heating, cooling, and generator needs. Galt Energy and Home Solutions. You first since 1863. I'm so close to the end of this last renovation on the Makeover Street. But of course, I'm always on call for other projects, and I have one more assignment to do before I can get back for the big reveal. There she is, the real escape. And for the next couple of hours, she's mine. You know what? I should feel bad for everyone at home, but I don't. The Antigua and Barbuda annual regatta is a global phenomenon. People come from all over the world to participate. So of course, when they want to do a little PR and they want to bring in a professional lifestyle correspondent person, they call me and of course, we worked it right into my schedule. What an exceptional, exceptional event you had here today. And you're going to see the success of this continue to grow because a lot of people are going to still be talking about it. So bravo to you, bravo you. to the islands. Thank and you, and thank you to all the beautiful people here in the Hamptons for the hospitality, the warmth, the friendliness that they've shown to us. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank, thank you. The regatta is held in Sag Harbor in Long Island a really wonderful town with lots of great shopping and restaurants. So of course, I needed to wander around and get inspired and eat something too. That is great. And with a brand new built-in swimming pool, of course the diver is perfect. I gotta head back to Connecticut because there's work to be done. So this idea for this reveal is so cool, I think. It's so much fun that we're gonna be able to have a block party and celebrate the pool, but also just a general celebration and, and, and uh, a bunch of people coming for that, which is gonna be so great. And you know, here's a huge benefit to being on a cul-de-sac. In a way, it's like, there's no, we can shut it down. Like, there's gonna be nobody on the street. So we'll have it to ourselves. It's gonna be an amazing, amazing night. It's gonna be a lot of fun. My six Azure Luxury Design Principles totally transformed this new space. Now that the table is all set, the street is completely shut down, we have the food prepared. I have to tell this crowd, dinner is served. All right, everyone! Are you enjoying the backyard? Yeah. Pool's amazing, right? Well, just want to let you know that dinner is served. Come on. Good girl. It's bittersweet. It's been a phenomenal journey, and I look forward to what comes in the future. So, you know, I'm sitting there, and we're enjoying the evening, and it's, you know, I'm reflecting back on what this has all been about, and, you know, there's people there who represent all parts of the street, and, you know, I mean, I remember what this place was like before Mar really started to have that influence, and we, we started this whole season. This is what casual luxury is really all about. This is what life on Mars is. It's this sense of community, it's this sense of people being together, and it works for everybody. And I am so excited and so excited for Mar to have seen that come to life that night. That was, that was a really special gift.
Looking back at this season, I often think about when I first moved here over 21 years ago and my vision, not just for my home, Rosebrook Gardens, but what I really expected of the entire street. It was a very sleepy street at that time, but I knew it had tremendous potential. I am thrilled to be alive and well and still living at Roseburg Gardens to see this evolution, but most importantly, to play a major part in the transformation of this little quiet street in Westport. Can you believe it? We're done with another season. I have to take a moment and thank my incredible neighbors for allowing this season to take place right here on my own little street in Westport. A special thank you to the builders, carpenters, and tradesmen, and everyone else that was involved in making this season so successful. It just goes to show you how casual luxury works both indoors and out. This will always be Team Mars headquarters, but for now, casual luxury is calling, and who knows, it might be in your neighborhood. Whether inside or out, he's the guy. Six clever principles for you to try. Learn casual luxury and you'll agree. Life on Mars is the place to be. Whether he tears it down, brings it to life. His principles will guide and revive. Learn casual luxury and you'll agree. Life on Mars is the place to be. Life on Mars, the home makeover show, is brought to you by Douglas Elliman Real Estate. It's time for Elliman.